Hey man. I have a great new band that I want to book in your room. We have played three gigs so far, one in a fire hall, one in my basement and the third was a battle of the bands at the local high school. Well, I am pretty booked up for the next few months. Can you email me a link to your site or mail me a press kit? We don't have a site yet. And the only recording we have is into a tape recorder from one of our rehearsals. Can you just book us an opening slot on that huge national show you have here next month? Yeah, I'm really sorry man. But I get a ton of inquiries every week. You really need to have a website and some sort of a following to play here. Dude, our girlfriends all say that we're the next Dave Matthews meets Muse meets Coldplay. We know this guy who thinks we can get a record deal. So if you don't want to book us, that's cool, but we are going to talk so much shit about you to everyone we know. Bro, I understand. You are new. And excited. But this is a big room. And believe it or not, it exists when it's full of people drinking at the bar. It just doesn't make much sense for us to book you so you can play to 25 of your friends and co-workers. Do you realize how much it costs just to heat this place? Look man. We are good. And we will do everything we can to promote the show and fill your room. We have over 1,000 friends on MySpace and I grew up in this town. And yes, I realize that I'm 27 now, and most of my high school friends are all married with mortgages and kids and I haven't seen any of them in years, but we will pack this place. How much do you guys need for a show? We only want 500 bucks, two cases of beer, four hotel rooms and a percentage of your bar sales for the night. Are you on crack? Dude, seriously? We are gonna be huge. And if you don't book us, you are gonna miss out. But then, about 18 months from now, when we break up, and I start a new band, I will call you again, and apologize for being such a dick and this whole process will start over again.